Hello again guys, Gossio back in here, and today we're just going to do a quick video on things you should know before you get into Dragonspine. For those who want to unlock the domain, click the timestamp on your screen. We're just going to be covering over some basic things that you should know about Dragonspine. First things first, the Statue of Seven, as well as a lot of things in the game, are going to be covered up with this ice that's hittable, but you don't know how to break it. Well, there's a simple fix to that. All you have to do is go to these Scarlet Quartz. These are red-looking gems. All you have to do is hit them, get the Scarlet Quartz, and smack anything that looks hittable or has a sort of aura around it. So you can just smack it and then you'll be able to unlock the Statue of the Seven. You don't need to do any quest lines, you don't need to do any of that. All you have to do is just make your way up here. Next thing, there is a bunch of things that can heat you up for the Sub-Zero Climate. Fire units and attacks may not help you. Things like teleport points, sealies. There's a lot of interactables that are warming it doesn't really tell you so if you are freezing make sure you look around and look for any interactable not all of them but a good amount do to get festering desire all you have to do is complete the albedo line then you get access to the chalk prince and the dragon all you have to do is do the first quest and he gives you the festering desire to get high refinements you will be getting them in the shop you'll get three extra from here or maybe four so it can be a refinement five but you will be getting extra here we don't have access to any of these items yet but we will be able to get festering dragon marrow next up for unlocking the domain which i'm sure everybody is here for all you have to do is talk to iris and she gives you a world quest now the world quest will lead you all the way from here into the entombed city but you won't be able to get there i don't have the quest to show you but i can show you the locations on where to go once you accept the quest make your way from the statue straight into here there is going to be a cavern that will push you out so once you go through here you're going to get pushed out and it's going to tell you to thaw some crystals i think you're going to be reporting back to her but once you report back to her you have to thaw out some of these crystals she doesn't tell you exactly where so i'll tell you the locations First things first, you have to get the frost bearing tree. This is going to be the first out of the three crystals. There's going to be a crystal right here in the middle that will be blocking all of this and we have to thaw it out. All you have to do is break the scarlet quartz like we mentioned earlier and we just have to smack it in here. Now you need to hit it a total of four times and that will be your first thawed crystal. For the next one, make your way all the way to Starglow Cavern right at this waypoint and what we're going to do is we're going to walk right down here. Once you make your way here, just follow the path straight forward and we're going to drop down and go to the right. Once we get to right there, we're going to jump off and it's going to be at the very bottom of the cave, right over here. There's going to be a barrier covering it so we won't be able to access it. To unlock the barrier surrounding the crystal around, you want to go and activate this thing right here. And make sure you bring a fire unit because there will be some ice shields that you want to break. I highly recommend to get this Sealy, he's going to be chilling somewhere up there, but I recommend you get it so you can stay warm because they will be freezing you a lot and it's just going to be very useful to run over here and warm up. You are timed, so make sure you do that. Once that's done, all you have to do is break the Scarlet Quartz and start smacking the thing again. And then that will be your second thought out crystal. For your last crystal, it is going to be at this location, located in between Wormus Valley and Entomb City Outskirts. It's going to be right here on the map, you can't miss it. Make your way to this teleport point, or walk around if you haven't got it there. And you're going to be present with a bunch of Rune Guardians and the new Rune Guardian, as well as this puzzle that you have to access. Once you kill all the Rune Guardians, there's going to be a Seely that you can activate, I think, through here. Make sure you remember the order that the Seely goes into, because that's the way you need to activate it. Once you activate it, you have to fight the new Rune Guardian too. So once he's knocked out, then you'll be able to jump down here. Here is where you need to thaw the last crystal. Get the Scarlet Quartz and start smacking it. For the last Scarlet Quartz, you won't be able to find it in here. You want to get a fire character and melt everything around it. There's going to be interactables that you can melt. And one of them has access to a Sealy. You want to find both Sealies, and you will get access to the last one outside of the gate. And that is how you thaw your last crystal. Next, you either report back to her or you make your way here. I'm not sure. Once you do that, you want to make your way back to the Statue of the Seven. And we're going to go straight into the area. You're going to finally have access to this and you won't get pushed back. It is a pretty simple task. Nothing too crazy once you make your way up here. You just have to fight a good amount of enemies. I recommend using Kaching or Zhongli or Geo Traveler just to <laughs> make it a little easier to travel, but by no means are they necessary. You can just 
make your way up. Once you make your way up, you won't see what you see on my screen now. I recommend you get the teleport waypoint first. There's going to be a big old pillar here, and you have to rethaw out the three crystals. Now, this one isn't as hard as the other ones because everything's in a pretty straight line. So once you activate this teleporter, the pathing I recommend, or the one that I used, is I used this crystal first, shot it at the thing. I, uh, it's there's platforms, but I recommend using a bow user, it's a lot easier. You just wrap your way all the way around until you get to over there, and from there it's a straight line. You just go around and find the red quartz, and you should have enough. So can you make your way all the way around over here? These are the little lantern things I was talking to you guys about. Make your way up here, then there's going to be even more uh, things to fight. There's the next crystal, then you want to make your way up through there, actually. You are going to need a animo character to make your way to the other side. Use an animal character, make your way up there, and that's where the last Scarlet Quartz is going to be. Just shoot these things down, and that's about it. Once you do that, you clear the domain, there's going to be the pillar. Uh, you clear the pillar, and then you have access to the domain. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. I know it took me quite some time for me to explain that as well as lock. It took me a couple hours with the help of my viewers. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's all you need to know for Dragon Spine. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully it helped you unlock the domain and making things a little easier. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.